What's going on guys? Dregast here and today we're going to be playing some Forts. Now this one is a physics based RTS that's very similar to Worms but it's actually a little bit more in depth. You have to build your own forts uh, and you have to focus on putting down weaponry as well as defending your base. Now this is just the preview build. It's going to be coming out on the 19th and uh, yeah it's really fun. I did have the pleasure of playing with it like I said so I do understand it a little bit which is obviously good because this is a pretty in depth a uh, little game. So let's get into the campaign now. This is the single player mode. By the way, there is a multiplayer mode and I will be playing some of that as well because, well, games like this in multiplayer are extremely enjoyable. But let's start out with the campaign. Now there is a little bit of a cutscene, so I'm going to leave that in for you guys that do enjoy the storyline. From the RTFM Network, this is Fax News with Salvo. With the world's derricks falling silent, the global superpowers are on the hunt for undiscovered oil fields. Here, on the helicarrier ESS Extravagance, rapid deployment forts are being made ready to defend any new reserves found. Their portable reactor technology allows the forts to be upgraded in the field, with weapons such as high-velocity cannons, plasma beams, and laser-guided swarm missiles. These bases are capable of packing a hefty punch. However, black penguin oil geologists are rumored to have uncovered evidence of one last motherload of oil. If found, it could be enough to keep the Eagle Empire going for another decade. But with the Dragon Army and Iron Bear Alliance also coveting new resources, the race is on to be the first to claim the motherload. This is Salvo at the Eagle Empire Fort's basic training ground, reporting for Fax News. Alright, so the world is fighting for oil. That's uh, oddly specific to what's going to happen in the real world, I feel like. Uh, but yes, uh, we need to find the mother load, and we are going to battle to win it. Now, uh, we are in a tutorial right now. I'm going to quickly go through all this. Uh, at least the uh, boring stuff, and I will explain to you guys how the game basically works. So now we're into the actual building of the game. So it's actually quite intuitive. Basically, you can just drag upwards here, and it's going to build onto your fort. And as you can see, it actually is physics-based. You uh, do have to build a structurally stable fort if you do want to be successful in this game, uh, which is the best part to me. I do like that. Uh, I do like any physics-based strategy game, so this is really fun. You can see I can go via joint, or I can bring up the whole beam and make a whole room down here. Now, you can place units inside here as well, uh, and that's exactly what you're going to want to do later on. Obviously, we're in a tutorial right now, so that's what we're going to do. We have to connect to this, and then I believe we actually get to use this. And it works like this in the real game as well. So, yes, as you can see, now that I connected to it, uh, this is actually part of my base. Great building style. By connecting this fort, we now have complete control over it. Well done. Okay, so now we have to get into the gunnery. So, yes, we learned how to build the base, but the base needs some offense as well. So we got our gun here. It takes a little while to build him. Once we have it built, we can destroy anything via just clicking like that. That's the very basics of this game. Obviously, there's a little bit of research going into the game as well and uh, other things that make it much more complex and much more enjoyable later on. But we are starting out the campaign here, so the tutorial is obviously going to be a little easy. Got a live target now. Okay, so it looks like we're going to be doing some fighting here. Obviously, his base is not the smartest build here. We got an explosion right in the front, and his core reactor is at the top. Now, the whole point of this game is to destroy this. Now, that thing's going to have a lot of HP, though, so I think I'm going to go and try and destroy his whole fort here. I can't even do anything right now, so this is just part of the campaign. Okay, so now it's going to tell us how to build doors. Now, the doors are how you're going to defend your units. So you can actually open and close these doors, shoot, and then close them, and they're going to be safe behind metal. So now that we got those down, let's put a machine gunner in here. Can I build? It doesn't look like I can build another one. So yes, we are in a tutorial right now, but you can see the door behind me. Now, when I do shoot here, let's zoom out a little bit. It should open up that door. Yes, there you can see the doors are being opened. And once I shoot... Uh, we should be able to take down this tower. So yes, there we go. Direct hit on that gas explosion and bam. First one, I'm assuming this is it. Yes, you can see the building and weapons at the top. Victory. Destroyed the enemy fort, connected to the Sable fort, and destroyed all the targets. Now that one was obviously very easy. I hope we can get into some more difficult ones because I do have a little bit of an understanding of the game. 
Honestly, the world is better off without that fort. It looks like it was made to be destroyed. All right, sore loser over here. Okay, so there was the first one. Uh, all right, so this must be like a world map screen here. So we are in North America right now. It looks like we're moving around with our drone. The next one, resources and repair. Destroy enemy fort, build 100% efficient turbine, and defend against mortar attacks. So we're going to get into the more difficult things right now. Let me introduce you to the reactor. Yes, I've already explained that, so we don't need to know about that. Uh, this is the reactor's health. Once damaged, it cannot be repaired. So, the, yes, the reactor's health is over here. The reactor produces metal and energy used to build and run forts. Additional metal is mined from ground deposits. So you can see the ground deposits over here. We actually already have a little miner, so I guess we can build another one here and start gaining more resources. So yes, you do have to deal with resources in this game as well. It's not just build like crazy. Uh, resource management is a real thing. Uh, we also need some metal storage. Can I put this? It looks like I can put it pretty much anywhere. So I guess we'll put it inside here because there's really no point to put weapons there since you can't shoot outwards. Okay, and we're gonna need energy as well, so therefore we need a wind turbine. Now, if I put this inside, will it work? I don't, I don't know if that's how that works. You know what? We're gonna try it anyways, just to see what happens, because I'd rather have my wind turbine inside. And yes, it is indeed working. Okay, so next up we got batteries. Now this is just going to give us more storage for energy, so I guess we can put that inside here as well. So there we go. You can see the. Uh, Max energy is one up to 5,000 from 3,000. Build a third mine on the ore deposit. Okay, so we can do that pretty easily here. Just go to the mine and build that right there. All right, so now we got three mines. We should be earning a lot of money. A high metal supply allows you to build faster. Okay, remember wind turbines need height and exposure to reach 100%. Okay, so that was my mistake. Does it actually tell me? Uh, yes, it's using 13% right now. That seems accurate considering it's inside. That's probably a little generous to be honest. So, you know what? We can actually delete things. So, I think I'm going to do that just because we can here and let's do this right. So, we'll build this. Oh, yeah, you can definitely see this. Oh, that's so cool. You can see the speed difference of the turbine. Uh, so, obviously, probably the higher the better for these wind turbines. Now, this is going to be in the open though. I don't know even know where the enemy is. Uh, but that will obviously be a target. Uh, okay, maybe I need to do another one. Expand upwards to support a 100% efficiency turbine. Okay. So yes, the higher we are, the better the efficiency for our turbines here. So we're just going to build... I don't know how high we need to go. We'll just go... Uh, let's try that out. That should be more than enough. 94% efficient, so it does pop up there. I probably should have looked at that before. So yeah, we're just going to... You know what? We'll keep that one there. I don't think it really matters if we have an extra one down... Uh, now this should allow us to hopefully, man, we are building a freaking wall here. But this should allow us to do 100% efficiency for our turbine, so that's going to be giving us as much energy as possible, which is good. Looks like we've got it. Okay, this is not the best design, though. Oh, yep, speak of the devil. So let's repair that. You can quickly press R to repair, and it's going to repair that oncoming attack. And here it comes more. I heard him waiting for it. Oh, God. Okay, uh, uh, yeah, this is actually going to be a little bit dangerous. So let's upgrade this. Oh, I don't even have metal yet. We're still in the tutorial here, so I was hoping to upgrade that wall to metal, but uh, that's not how going to happen. Uh, all right. How do you like my mortar, Shockna? This is payback for what you did to my fort earlier. Okay, your fort's looking a little bit better this time, so I'm a little bit worried. Uh, my fort is not looking so good. You started that, and I thought we were allies. This is the worst deal ever. I'm hanging up. Well, I've got 20 mortars with your name on them. Here they come, friend. Oh, God. Okay, this is not good. Uh, use the machine gun to shoot down oncoming shells. Well, I requisition a mortar. Repair damage from any shells that get through. Okay, well then. Uh, yeah, we're gonna have to shoot down all incoming mortars. That's harder than it seems. Oh, God. Yep, okay, that one I totally missed. All right, at least he's got bad aim as well. But you can shoot the mortars out of the sky. Uh, oh, God. Okay, this guy is really bad at aiming. Thank God. Uh, there we go. I got one, as you saw. Uh, you can shoot him out of the air. Harder than it seems, though. There we go. I blocked another one. That one was definitely gonna hit. All right, can you work a little faster, buddy? This is not the easiest thing to do. <laughs> All right, he did hit my windmill, but I'm doing okay so far. Oh, you bastard. I thought that one was going to miss. I wasn't even going to try and shoot it. But thankfully, repairing in this game is ridiculously quick. Uh, yeah, thankfully, I don't know what he's doing over there because clearly he doesn't know how to aim. Ooh, okay, spoke too soon, obviously. <laughs> oh, man, he is really hitting that now. Okay, my poor windmill. Oh, you bastard. Are you serious? Thankfully, we have another windmill. Oh, God, he, he just blew up me too. Are you serious? 
This is... Okay, I thought this was going to be a little bit easier. Well, I can't actually build right now because we're in the campaign and it's not letting me. But thankfully, we did make it. Now we got heavy mortars. Okay. So this is going to be where it gets fun. Now, I got to figure out how am I going to do this. Can I actually build now? Are you going to let me game? Uh, yes. So what I'm going to want to do... Obviously, we don't want to weigh this down too much. This is a little dangerous right now. Let's build this up as well so we can... Uh, Reinforce this a little bit. All right, but now we got some heavy mortar. So let's build this. We'll build it right on the top uh, That wouldn't be the best place. I would generally put it behind here But uh, just because this is a tutorial it shouldn't be too difficult. Uh, can I build another one? No, it's not gonna let me so now with mortar Oh, it actually shows you where the lines gonna go So what we want to do is obviously take out his mortars looks which look like they're right There, so we're gonna shoot that off. Hopefully that's good. And yes, direct hit right into his weakness. Now, he's got a lot of metal on there, so we don't want to hit the metal. We want to keep hitting his weak spots. Uh, hopefully, we can get this reactor down. All right, here comes the third one. Oh, and yes, that's a good sign. We knocked down the top half of his castle. Oh, that is so cool to watch. I love the physics-based uh, aspect of this game. It is absolutely amazing. All right, we're just going to keep going down here and wearing him down. Now, it does take a while to reload. As you can see, that red thing where my mouse is, is the reload bar. So we do have to wait for that before we can shoot again. And it also takes resources, as you can see in the bottom right. Oh, yes. There we go. His reactor has been shown, which is obviously the thing we want to kill. So there we go. That should be it. I don't know how much HP the reactor has. That might be able to take that shot. Uh, but yes, now you can hear it. Bad things are happening, which is good for me. So there we go. Direct hit right there. This should hopefully be enough to take this thing down. Oh my god, alright, he's still going. Alright, I don't know how you're gonna survive three, but you might be able to... Nope, there we go. <laughs> and I love the whole flash of the whole screen. Victory! So we did the second one. Not too bad, I would like to get into an actual fight now, though. Curse you, I was only messing around, you didn't have to destroy my entire fort. Well, that's what you get for talking back to me, good sir. Too bad, Scattershot. You should have thought about that before throwing around mortar shells. Very true, myself. Knock it off, you two. Reports are in of rich oil deposits in Africa. Your recruits are being shipped out. All right, so I guess we're going to Africa now to attack the oil nodes. All right, so here we are in Africa. It looks like we can actually choose which one we want to now. We'll destroy enemy fort. I think they're all probably... Yes, this is the actual game now, so this is going to get pretty interesting. Let's just start off at the top here. Uh, create a machine gun group. Okay, so that's gonna be fun to show you guys, uh, how to make groups in this game. We hereby claim the oil deposit in the name of the Dragon Army. You disgrace yourself with this aggression. Oh, yeah, okay, why would you do that? That doesn't even make sense. Just put a bunch of fuel right in the front of your castle, thanks. Give me a break, buddy, we're going to build a fort here and make you pay for it. Okay, well then, uh, is this me? Oh, no, I hope this is not me. Ah, uh, oh god, they are building a sniper here to defend it, okay. No big deal, I can deal with the sniper. Group your machine guns together. Okay, so you can either click or drag. Oh, I don't even know what it's saying. Here's a tip, aim for the damage strut to set off a chain reaction. Okay, thank you for the tip. Uh, I probably would have done that anyways. Clearing the way, destroy the barrel, and bring the whole fort down. Oh, okay, so we can either go down there or up there. So, make your country great again, Commander. Really? Really, game, make your country great again. I, I don't know about that one. Ah, Trump quotes. Gotta love them, right? Okay, so here we go. Let's connect these two together. So it's as simple as doing that. And now they're both gonna shoot at the same time. He's shooting as well. So let's waste no time here. And uh, I'm wondering, can we actually knock this down? We might be able to take out that little strut and knock this whole damn thing down. All right, guns are overheated, but we are taking it down. As you can see, once this falls, I think it's gonna hit this and then destroy everything. At least that's the plan. Let's see if that happens. Ooh, man, these things are not the most accurate. Gotta drop it a little bit. Ooh, got that part. All right, there we go. And, ah, oh, I thought it would break the whole thing. But now this is open, so this should be pretty easy from here on. Uh, we just need to get into that little hole. So a little bit lower. Okay, a lot lower. Jesus. There we go. That That is right there. That is the sweet spot. That is where we want to keep aiming. And some of these will get through. Yes. Another fort destroyed. The Derrick is undamaged. Well, unfortunately, we didn't get all three that time. I guess we did let some damage go through. I forgot to hit the missiles that were coming in. Uh, good work getting the extra objective. The last one will ensure our advance to the next theater. Okay, so I guess we do have to do this. So we're going to have to try this again and not let him hit us. All right, so I knocked down his gunner. I don't think he's got any more bullets or anything, but I shouldn't be overheating my guns because I need to use these as defense as well. 
So let's just try and get it. Ooh, yeah, there we go. All right, that was the perfect top, uh, one. He didn't even shoot one shot off. And bam, the Derek is undamaged as well. Great work, but this kind of performance will advance to the next theater in no time. Thank you. Let's go on to the next one and try that one out. All right, so this makes sense. We need to get a total of nine oil wells to get out of Africa, and then we can advance. All right, so we got three oil wells in Africa. We need six to earn the required number of oil drops to advance to the next theater. So let's do one more here. These ones should be more or less the same. Which one looks interesting, though? This map looks pretty cool. There's a big hole in the middle. Prevent bridge being broken. Snipe both mortars. Destroy enemy forts. So I want to do some sniping. Uh, no, yeah, let's do some sniping. Sniping sounds fun. Your bridge is crumbling just like the infrastructure in your homeland. Wow, this guy's being an asshole as well. At least we don't cut corners with workplace health and safety sitting on a bomb. Quite literally, as you can see. The enemy fort is stocked with oil and arm mortars. Okay, so we gotta deal with those mortars. Uh, your fort is built of wooden bracing to put out any fires that the mortars start or replace vulnerable bracing with armor. Okay, wow, we've been hit quite a bit. So, okay, so we're gonna repair this really quickly first. Oh, I guess I can't repair that because that's not technically our fort yet, but we should be able to... Ooh. Ooh, okay. I don't know if this is safe or not. All right, let's just build this out a little bit, and ooh, it's it's just weighing itself down. I love this, though. All right, so we should be able to... Yes, there we go. Connect to that, and now I can also repair that. Oh, here comes another one. Bastard. Okay, we're going to repair that right away, and he shouldn't be able to get through there now. So now we have unlocked the sniper... And that's going to allow us to take out these things. Now, we got metal everywhere, though, so that's going to be pretty interesting to deal with. Let's first of all put artillery up so we can deal with those mortars. So we're going to put two artillery up, because uh, he's just going to keep going here, as you can see, and i got to constantly repair. While those are being built, I'm going to try and take out... You can see that one spot right there. I might be able to take that one spot out. Oh, okay. First shot, guys. First fucking shot. Good enough for me. That was easy enough. Did I get all three? Aw, snipe both mortars. <laughs> I can't just take out the whole tower, seriously? All right, but I can go to next. All right, so we got two out of three. I don't really want to do that one again because I feel like I did better than sniping out the two mortars. I just took them down with one shot, damn it. So we're going to try this one out. Uh, first two shots are accurate. Prevent machine gun rebuild. Destroy enemy fort. Okay, so he's going to have machine guns. Your persistence is honorable. The ultimate futile. My machine guns are like chopsticks plucking flies out of the sky. Nothing an eagle sniper couldn't fix. All right, so he's going to have a bunch of machine guns. A small enemy fort is guarding this oil deposit. Unfortunately, they haven't left any conveniently placed explosive barrels around. That's a little bit more smart this time. So we are getting into the actual gameplay now. We might have built a mortar team to take it out. Okay, this is going to be fun. Mortars are always fun. But the enemy machine guns are shooting them down. So we have to build a sniper to take those out. We have a sniper unit deployed in this outpost. Now we do need to connect to that outpost, so we need to build... We need to build a wall, quite literally. Build your fort to connect to the sniper. Make your country great. Uh, really? Every fucking time? Ah, oh, this is gonna get old real quick, guys. I'm sorry. I can't really stop that from happening. I, uh, I know that's probably annoying for a lot of people. All right, well, let's build uh, very quickly up. The quicker, the better. Oh, it looks like my mortars... Oh, is this guy on my team? All right, I don't even need to use those. I just need to focus on getting to the sniper. Simple enough. Just got to build this upwards, connect to that. There we go. And that's going to stop swaying now. And perfect. Now I got my sniper. Time to take out these pesky bastards that are trying to destroy my friend. So there we go. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Bam. All right, a little lower, a little lower. And, oh, wait. Okay, there is recoil, as you can see. So you do have to correct your shot every time. There goes one. All right, come on. First try on the second one. First try. Can we do it? Yeah, there we go. First try and the top one. Can we do another first try? Am I that good? All right, that looks that ooh, ooh, that looks good right there. Bam! <laughs> two in a row. Unfortunately, I didn't make first two shots accurate, so that's a little unfortunate. But now, as you can see, the mortars are just going to lay down the law here. I guess I can help out by shooting a little bit, but that's not really going to do too much. You generally want explosions. Oh, I didn't realize there's another guy there. All right, we'll take him out. There we go. And yes, there it goes. Another castle bites the dust. Unfortunately, I didn't do very good there. All I did was destroy the enemy fort. First two shots are accurate. I could have definitely done that. Where's your honor now, Dragon Boy? We made short work of you just then. 
God, these guys are so aggressive towards each other. I see you've mastered basic weapons. Our army of engineers has been working on upgraded weapons. See you in the desert, Grasshopper. All right, and there we go. We got to the Middle East. So we've made it through Africa. We've made it through North America. And next up, it looks like we're going to get into engineering in this game. But we're going to end this one here, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you do want to see some more, let me know in the comments below. It does get pretty interesting after this because you actually got to start engineering for bigger and better weapons as well. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. As always, thanks for watching and liking, guys, and I will see you in the next one.